Hi guys, I don't want to give you any spoilers, but this following tutorial will honestly just knock you off a unicorn. It is super aesthetic and really, really easy to make. Like honestly, anybody could make it. Whether you've got a background in design or not, if you follow this tutorial step by step, it will help you create your own floral infused portrait that you can print and hang on your wall at home. So I don't know about you guys, but since the pandemic hit, I've been wanting to kind of add some pretty and more cheerful things to my home. And what could be prettier than your very own portrait of yourself infused with florals, or even one of a friend or family member that you could give to them as a gift. So without further ado, my name is Georgia. And in this tutorial, I will show you how you can break out of that monotony and create this gorgeous floral portrait. Okay, so let's create our portrait canvas. So I'm just gonna pop in the title and the dimensions of this canvas. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click create. So my canvas is empty, so I'm gonna add my first element, which is the portrait. So click plus image, select your portrait of this beautiful lady. And then I'm going to make sure that I've got the arrange tool selected and I'm going to make sure the aspect is fixed so that as I resize the image, the proportions aren't gonna change so that she stays beautifully in shape. And the next thing, once I've got this all adjusted, is selecting the cutout tool. I'll use the automatic function for this. So just make sure that the photo layer is selected when you're clicking on the cutout tool. And there you go, easy peasy. So I still need to just clean it up a little bit. So I'm gonna use a draw mask with the remove from mask setting, just to remove those jagged lines. I am gonna have a white background behind her head. So I'm not too worried if there's kind of a little bit of white here and there in her hair, but I'm just gonna get rid of the kind of fly away pieces. So as I said, my background is gonna be white for this. So I'm gonna select a white circle that I'm going to size around her head, which is just gonna bring all the attention to her head, which is the whole point of a portrait. I'm gonna make sure it's behind her head so the layers are adjusted correctly. And now it's time to give my background some beautiful color. So once I've adjusted this circle, I'm gonna go ahead and click the fill tool. And I'm going to click which layer I want to fill. I love this yellow and I'm gonna just go ahead there. Wow, I love it, it's so pretty. Okay, now let's get the floral print. So once I've got that image there, I'm gonna adjust it so that it is in front of the portrait. Uh, make sure the aspect is fixed again and then just resize it to where I want it to be, making sure that I've got the flowers exactly where it is. I want this floral kind of infused part of this portrait to be basically just on her torso. So I'm gonna adjust it so that it's kind of over her neck and face. Don't worry that it's covering her chin. We're gonna sort that out in a little minute. So I'm gonna change it to black and white. And then I'm going to change the blending mode to overlay. And you'll see here, it just looks beautiful over her skin. So now we're gonna move the floral overlay from the background. So from the cutout tool, I'll use the draw mask with the remove from mask setting. And make sure the floral print layer is selected. And then I'm just going to brush around her shoulders and her neck to make sure I'm removing that kind of floral aspects from the background. So I'm using this kind of thin brush, just cleaning around her chin, around the edges of her neck and her shoulders, just cleaning all of that up, making sure that the florals are only on her torso area. So as I do this, I'm just using kind of a fine brush to go around the edge, and then I will increase the brush size at the top there so that I can kind of just really easily rub out the rest of the florals from the background. So here you go, address the size. And there you go, it's really easy to just kind of clear all that up. Magic. Make sure I've got the other side all sorted. And once that's all done, 
I'm just gonna decrease the transparency a little bit on these florals so they're not, they don't stand out quite as much. It's just a little bit more subtle. So here we go. Just decrease this transparency just a tad. There you go, I love that. And then I just wanna make the portrait black and white because I think I love the black and white kind of color. There you go. The yellow background and the black and white face, it just makes it really pop. It looks beautiful. And finally, a gorgeous floral portrait needs a floral bouquet. So let's load that in. Make sure the aspect is fixed. Resize it properly so that it's exactly where I want it to be. So I'm just gonna adjust it, twizzle it around so that it's kind of in her hair. And you can use the corners of the image to make it smaller or bigger, and you can use the little twizzle nozzle to kind of move it around. And then I'm going to just, once I've got this right in place to where I want it to be, I am going to just decrease the transparency a little bit, just so that it kind of blends in with the image and it doesn't look too harsh. So just decrease it slightly. And voila, a floral infused portrait. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Make sure you stay tuned for more tutorials soon. Thank you so much and see you soon.